A fighter like Israel Adesanya comes along once in a generation. He just has a uniqueness to him in everything he does. The way he mixes stylish and technical striking. with a personality that keeps fans wanting more. And with that in mind, we're going to give you a peek behind the curtain into Israel Adesanya's lifestyle outside the octagon. What he loves, what he hates, the good stuff, and the not so good stuff. Adesanya's success inside the octagon has certainly allowed him to indulge in the finer things in life. The reigning UFC middleweight champion is known for his love of luxury, and he's not afraid to show it off. One of the most impressive items in Adesanya's collection is the $650,000 McLaren 720S, a car that came to Izzy in a striking shade of orange, making it a hard vehicle to miss when he's driving those Auckland roads. It's not his only luxurious vehicle, but it's certainly his nicest one. Adesanya is also known for his love of jewelry. He's been spotted wearing a variety of high-end watches, including a Rolex Daytona and a Richard Mille RM1103. The latter is estimated to be worth around $350,000 and is one of the most sought-after watches in the world. Quite a pretty penny for a watch, right? Despite his flashy lifestyle, Adesanya remains grounded and humble, and to this day is a strong and consistent teammate to those who fight under Eugene Behrman's city kickboxing banner. City Kickboxing is renowned for producing some of the best fighters in the world, including the featherweight champ Alexander Volkanovsky, Dan Hooker, Kaikara France, Carlos Olberg, and Brad Riddle, to name but a few. Adesanya's training partners are also some of his closest friends, and they share a bond that extends far beyond the confines of the gym. The team's motto, we are all in this together, is a testament to the tight-knit community they've built. His commitment to his team is evident in his willingness to help his teammates improve. He's often seen coaching his fellow fighters during training sessions, sharing his knowledge and expertise with those who seek it. That background in high-level kickboxing makes Stylebender a total goldmine of striking knowledge, an invaluable asset for anyone who comes into contact with him. Despite being one of the most recognizable faces in combat sports today, Izzy is a true leader and role model within the team, and his presence has had a positive impact on everyone around him. In addition to his leadership and coaching abilities, Adesanya's respect for his teammates is also evident outside of the gym. He often attends his teammates' fights, cheering them on from the sidelines, and showing his support in any way possible. But when he's not fighting, the range of eclectic interests that Adesanya possesses may be surprising to those of you who didn't immediately recognize his nickname's origin. Adesanya is a force to be reckoned with in and out of the octagon. But if there's one unique passion that sets him apart from his peers, it's his love of anime. And it's not like he's ever been shy about it. Adesanya, who grew up in Nigeria before moving to New Zealand, was introduced to anime at a young age, and it quickly became a lifelong obsession. He's made it clear in many interviews that his love affair with anime was an instant hit, and ever since first watching it as a kid, he has never looked back. Adesanya's passion for anime is evident in everything from his fighting style to his wardrobe. He's been known to incorporate anime references into his post-fight interviews, and he's even walked out to the octagon wearing a custom-made anime-inspired robe. But this connection runs deeper than just surface-level fandom. He sees parallels between the world of anime and the world of combat sports, and he believes that the lessons he's learned from anime have helped him become a better fighter. These athletes are always looking for ways to expand and improve their own personal philosophy. And for Izzy, he has had to look no further than his beloved cartoons. Adesanya's favorite anime series is Naruto, a long-running saga about a young ninja who dreams of becoming the strongest warrior in his village. Adesanya sees himself in the character of Naruto, claiming in interviews that he loves Naruto because of the fact that he never gives up, something he can draw parallels to in his own fighting career. That instant classic with Kelvin and Gastelum? Yeah, that might have been Adesanya's Naruto. Adesanya's love of anime has earned him a legion of fans outside of the fighting world. His social media feeds are filled with fan art and anime memes, and he's even been invited to speak at anime conventions. But for Adesanya, his love of anime is about more than just entertainment or fandom. It's a source of inspiration, a way of life, and a reminder of the values that have helped him become one of the greatest fighters of his generation. And of course, his nickname, The Last Stylebender, didn't merely come about due to Izzy's desire to mix fighting approaches. No, it's a very clear nod to the show Avatar The Last Airbender, a personal favorite of the middleweight champion. 
Israel is also a very skilled dancer, another major passion in his life that has leaked into his MMA career. He discovered a passion for dance at a young age, training in a variety of styles from hip-hop to contemporary, and even competed in dance competitions around the country. When Adesanya moved to New Zealand as a teenager, he continued to pursue his love of dance, joining a local hip-hop troupe to hone his skills. But Adesanya's dancing career took a backseat to his fighting career when he discovered kickboxing. He quickly became a rising star in the sport, and eventually made the transition to MMA. However, despite his success in the fighting world, Adesanya never forgot his roots in dance. That became evident in his walkout for his 2019 title unification bout against Robert Whittaker. Adesanya brought back his old dance troupe to perform alongside him as he made his way to the octagon. He truly did bring the thunder in front of what was the largest ever UFC crowd, the 57,000 people who sold out Melbourne's Marvel Stadium for UFC 243. It was a truly memorable walk to the octagon, and it set the tone for the unforgettable performance that would follow. Adesanya himself made it clear that he always wanted to bring back his old friends to share the stage with him. And while the idea of putting on an elaborate walkout with them was front and center in his mind, Izzy also wanted to let the world know that he was a total showman at heart. It was a moment that will go down in UFC history, and it was a testament to Adesanya's unique blend of athleticism and artistry. Izzy would, of course, go on to have major success when the cage doors closed, dropping Bobby Knuckles to the canvas at the end of round one before finishing him by way of TKO in the second. A new middleweight champion was crowned, a man who joined the likes of Whitaker, Anderson Silva, Michael Bisping, and Chris Weidman on the long list of iconic names to have held the 185-pound strap. He's a man of very particular taste, who has no problem in letting his fans know exactly what type of person he is. However, despite his many successes in the octagon, Adesanya has made it clear that he is not ready to start a family just yet. In a sport where family is often considered a source of motivation, Adesanya has taken a different approach. The dude's only 33 though, so it's not like he's that old. In interviews, Adesanya has spoken candidly about his decision not to have children yet. He has stated that his focus is on his career, and that having children at this point would be a distraction as he attempts to build on his already glittering career resume. And Adesanya's decision is not uncommon in the world of combat sport. Many fighters have put off starting a family until after their careers have ended, recognizing that the sport requires a level of dedication and focus that can be difficult to balance with family life. Israel is confident enough to speak it into the world because, let's be real, he probably doesn't care what anyone thinks about his choice. And while that shameless quality in his character is admirable, most of the time, it has still gotten him into trouble in the past. Izzy found himself in hot water when he made some pretty offensive threats to Kevin Holland, promising his fellow middleweight that he would rape him if they ever fought. He also drew quite a lot of criticism after his post-fight celebration against Paulo Costa, which most people would agree was a pretty awful look for a champion and an ambassador for the sport. And most recently, after getting his long-awaited revenge over Alex Pereira, Adesanya decided to use the moment to get revenge on Poetan's young son, who had mocked him five years prior after getting KO'd. Yeah, Izzy literally picked a fight with a 10-year-old kid. Which is pretty bizarre, but then again, they both probably watched the same cartoons, right? Despite this, whenever Adesanya has acknowledged the controversies he has been involved in, he's expressed a desire to learn from his mistakes. In interviews, he has spoken about the importance of accountability and the need to be more mindful of his words and actions. Most of the time, when the fans hear from Izzy these days, it's coming directly from the source. His YouTube channel, Freestyle Bender, has about 1 million subscribers, and it has become a key part of Adesanya's brand and an important means of communicating with his fans. On his YouTube channel, Adesanya posts a variety of content, including vlogs, training videos, and behind-the-scenes footage from his fights. He also uses uses the channel to update fans on his career, sharing insights into his training and his mindset leading up to fights. Adesanya's videos are often engaging and entertaining, and his live event reaction videos are an absolutely essential part of any fight week experience. Adesanya's use of social media has been praised by fans and experts alike. In a sport where promotion is crucial, Adesanya has demonstrated a keen understanding of the value of social media and has leveraged it to great effect. His YouTube channel is a key component of this strategy, allowing him to connect with fans on a personal level and build a loyal following. 
He's a man of many interests and talents, and with the UFC middleweight title now firmly back in his possession, that victory over Alex Pereira truly did seem like another star-making performance, a win that has boosted his stock to another level entirely. We're living in the style bender era, folks, that's for sure.